I definitely have the entertainer of the season, um, which I'm not complaining about. You know, he's, he's very handsome, he's charming, and, you know, he can move. It's going to take a while to get his technique down, but he has potential. <laughs> I have a friend who played professional football for the Chargers, and he was like 240 pounds, and, and you look like you weigh 175 pounds. Actually, I'm 190. You know, I'm the smallest person on my team, but uh, it's all right. And he eats right. McDonald's every day, okay? Every single day. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh! See the things she's gonna find out about you. Are you ready for this? Okay, that's where I try to take her on our our, our, our business dates. I just try to go through the drive-through and get it out the way. I won't eat that. So. So you basically starve. So I'll just bring my own little lunch. All right. So Chad, before anybody saw you dance, I was hearing that Chad Ochocinco is good. People at ABC were saying he's one to watch. Will you see Chad Ochocinco go out there? And I thought you were going to get like eight, eight, eight. I don't necessarily understand the scores, but I love your attitude because nothing's going to ever get you down. No, you know, if, with some of the things I've been through in life, you know, listening to them is pretty cool. I like to, I like people to be critical of me at any, whatever I do. You know, um, working with Cheryl, I asked her not to compliment me, compliment me on anything because if anything looks good, that means I'm a professional dancer, and I'll never look at that anytime soon. So when you say some of the things I've been through in life, what's one thing you've been through that surprises you that you're here today to even talk about it? Um... Just being here, period. You know, there's no, no one specific thing. You know, every day isn't promised to either one of us. You know, and just being able here to, to grace the dance floor with someone like Miss Burke Ochocinco is awesome. Oh, my God. He's already adding his last name to mine. Except I don't like that last name. You don't have a choice. I think I do have I a choice. Put my foot down. Until I see a ring on my finger, I have a choice. Well, here, here, here. <laughs> just switch it. All right, so basically you've got great chemistry going but he's listening to you it's clear to see just watching the dance that he's listening to what you're telling no and he works hard you know he's not there just to fool around he's there to work hard and he wants to reach a goal and he wants to be good so he has to listen to his coach so one of the judges said by the way they want to see more and i don't think you want to give it all away in the first week anyway right it's coming trust me <laughs> it's coming look in my eyes it's coming <laughs> You know, but very subtle, very subtle. She has to tame me. I have two words. Four words, actually. <laughs> Lady Gaga, Rihanna, and Ocho. Put it all together. That's what you're going to get. I'm really, I'm scared. I might have to tame him down just a little, because this is a family show. Well, let's talk about the costumes, because your costume's just kind of normal right now, but does it help you on the floor? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I need it to be nice and snug so people can see the hips. I need the women to see the hips. I have a, a pair of the greatest hips in the world right now. What do you, right? Don't be overconfident, love. Sorry.